in today's video i'm gonna show you how to bring in chat and highlight comments from your facebook live stream of course using obs and a cool plugin called social stream ninja just like this so let's not take much time let's get right into it what's going on guys my name is sam watching the production tips and tools helping you master live streaming so if you stream on facebook live using obs one of the challenges that you're gonna have is the ability to be able to bring in your chat coming from facebook live and actually bring it into obs and be able to highlight like you have seen some people doing it on some paid streaming software like Streamyard, ev mac or ecamm live but don't worry in this video i'm gonna show you how to do that and we're starting right now so i'm gonna show you we're gonna be using a plugin and this is not something that's built into obs that's why it used to be super complicated to do this but now it's actually super simple we're gonna be using a chrome extension called social stream ninja to do that so what i need you to do i need you to go to your browser and type in social stream that ninja i'm gonna leave a link down below so you guys can just click to the link and it's gonna take you to the page so once you click on that link you're gonna have a you're gonna land to a page that looks like this okay so now we're looking for the chrome extension as you can see they're working on windows it's still in beta as well mac os but for now we actually using the chrome extension uh plugin so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and click chrome extension and as soon as you click to it it's going to actually download the file and it's gonna be saved in your downloads folder so what you need to do is you're gonna go to your downloads folder and as you can see i actually downloaded it twice but it's gonna be this one that says social stream main okay it's gonna be a zip folder so what you need to do you need to actually go ahead and right click to it and extract all and hit extract so basically it's just to unzip the folder so once it's done the next thing we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and open obs so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna show you guys how to install it actually so what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and actually open your google chrome browser again and what we need to do is you're going to go here in the corner where it says extension. Okay. So usually all your extension will be here. Okay. But for us, we're going to go ahead and actually go down here where it says manage extension. And as you can see, it's going to show you all the extensions that you have already installed on your computer. What you need to do is you want to go here where it says developer mode. Okay. You want to make sure you toggle that okay once it's toggled it's all blue so i'm gonna go ahead and click load and pack and then we're gonna go to the download folder and then we're gonna go ahead and find the social stream ninja folder that we just downloaded that it's already unzipped so you want to make sure you click to it and then hit select folder the first time it's gonna show this error message this is gonna happen don't freak out you can actually hit cancel and then go ahead and hit again load and pack and then make sure you choose again the same folder that we downloaded and then hit select and as you can see now it has been installed no problem okay so now as you can see it shows here social stream ninja and it's gonna give you the version again steve the developer of this plugin he keeps actually adding updates so at some point you may have to update it so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and go here to the extension icon again and then we're gonna look for it and then once we find it it's right here social stream ninja what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go ahead and pin it just like that and then once we have a pin it's gonna be a uh, pinned here and what we we need to do we need to enable it so i'm gonna go ahead and click to it as you can see it's actually red so that means it's actually disabled so we're gonna go ahead and disable it just toggle this little thing here and as you can see now it's actually toggled and we are good to go so this means actually enabled okay so the next thing we need to actually take a look at we have two main links that you need to pay attention to the first link is the streaming chat are called dockable so basically if you want to have a dock on your screen scrolling showing all the chat on the messages coming in you can use this link right here however for us for most of us what we need we're gonna be using this featured chat overlay link which is basically the ability to be able to choose you know any 
kind of message coming in so like you just choose a message and highlight it's gonna show on screen so i'm gonna show you how to use both links and how personally i like to use them and of course you can go ahead and play with this extension it has so many cool things i will just let you go through everything you can change colors the style it has so many effects but for us for the purpose of this video we're gonna keep you basic and i'm gonna show you what i promise you to show you all right so the next thing we need to do we need to set up the extension in obi so that everything we do in OBS is actually going to show up. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to set up a doc. So the reason why we need to have a doc is because we want to see the messages back in OBS from basically from your live stream. When people send messages, you want to be able to see them in OBS without having to go actually to your actual stream. So we need to go ahead and go to this streaming chat uh, dockable link. And what we need to do is we just need to highlight and just copy it. And then we're going to go to OBS. So basically we want to create a new doc. Okay. So I'm going to go here where it says docs. And as you can see, I already had one, but I'm going to go here where it says custom browser doc. And as you can see, I already have one called chat ninja. Now I can go ahead and actually delete it and I'm going to create a new one. So I'm going to go here just type in just name me whatever you want so we're under dark name so i can call it ninja chat that's how i like to call it yours you can call it chat and then the url this is gonna be the link that we just brought from the extension so i'm gonna go ahead and actually paste and then hit apply and as soon as you hit apply, you can see that you're going to have a doc available for you. So now you can actually go ahead and put it anywhere in your OBS, wherever you have a, a spot available. So for me, I believe I can have a spot maybe somewhere here and you can go ahead again. I already did apply. You can go ahead and actually close this. So now, as you can see, we have a doc called Ninja Chat, and this is where our messages are going to show up when we actually go live. Okay. The next thing we need to do is we need to set up a way to when we highlight the message is going to show up in OBS. Now, once we're done, I'm going to show you, we're going to test everything so you guys can see how actually messages are going to come in. So we're going to go back to our extension and we're going to go we scroll down where to where it says featured chat overlay. So we need to go here and copy this link. Just hit copy and we're going to go to OBS again and we're going to go to the scene where we want this to appear. Okay, so I'm going to go here to this scene, my main camera scene. This is the scene that I like to show my chat because that's where, you know, people I'm just talking to my audience and then I can answer their questions. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to hit the plus sign under sources and we're going to be adding what's called a browser source. So I'm going to go here or under browser, hit browser. And for this one, I'm going to call it chat and then and then I'm going to hit OK. And then we're going to go here where it says URL. I'm going to go ahead and delete whatever is there and I'm going to paste in what we just got from the extension. And then for the width, I always like to make it 1920. Okay. And the height, I always like to make it around 300. This is really optional. You can make 300, 400. And this is something you can actually readjust afterwards. Okay. Everything else you leave the way it is and just hit OK. And as you can see, it's going to show up here on the top. And then what we need to do, we can actually lower it a little bit, put it somewhere here. So basically, this is where you want your messages to show up. You can also make it a little smaller. That's why all the dimensions that I just put in were just like kind of optional. Because again, depending on the framing, because right now I have an overlay and I want to make sure the messages actually are going to show up within inside the overlay. Okay. If I didn't have an overlay, I can actually make it like kind of like full frame kind of thing, like to occupy the entire frame, something like this. And I could actually put it down a little bit down like this. All right. So you're going to go ahead and actually play with it depending on your setup and make sure it looks good. So for now, we can actually leave it here. Again, this is going to make sense in a moment once we start bringing in chats or messages. All right. So now the big part is actually done now. So the next thing is we're going to go to Facebook now and look for someone who's live because I'm not live. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to go ahead and look for someone who's live, assuming this is you who's live or me. And I've got this guy, I've got some people gaming here. So let me find someone who has a lot of messages. So let me go to this guy right here. So what you need to do usually, so you go live first. Okay. Assuming this was you, I'm just going to go ahead and mute his audio. So assuming this was you, you go live 
first and then after you go live you're gonna go ahead and click to your video or your live stream okay and you also want to make sure because you need to to make sure the chat extension can capture the actual link of the video so you want to make sure you go here no actually this is good this is good because you have to really get the actual link of the video so let me yeah so when you click to it you want to make sure really the video is enlarged and you want to make sure you really getting the link of the video okay on the top here okay so this is it makes sure it's not like an embedded link of your page and it's just an embedded window of your video if you don't have that sometimes you're gonna have a tab here that says enlarge if you can get the messages and make sure you enlarge your video so it can actually the extension can get the actual link of the video or of the live stream okay so right now we don't have many messages coming in but i'm gonna go ahead and send a message and just say hello so now i'm sending messages to this guy hopefully he's not gonna be mad and i'm not actually spamming his chat so if you go back to obs usually the messages are supposed to show up here sometimes it may take a little you know a few seconds before it shows up but now as you can see the extension is actually detecting so if i go back here usually if you click this link here the streaming chat darker ball you click to it you're gonna see that it's gonna open something that will look like this so basically where the messages are going to show up okay and then from these messages you can click to each message and highlight but we already have this doc inside obs so we don't need it that's why we have this chat here this doc right here so as you can see now the messages that i'm sending to the guy are actually showing up now all the messages that they sent before are not going to show up so basically you're gonna get the messages that we sent right after when the extension started tracking uh, all the messages okay so you want to make sure you really get the link of your live stream and then you can go from there and then that's where you're going to start getting like you know messages so as you can see all the messages now that i'm sending of course other people sending messages i want to show up here it's just the chat is not really super active but all the messages are coming in now and then what i need to do now is i can go ahead and send messages again as you can see other people sending in messages but all the messages come in here Whenever I want to highlight a message, I can go ahead and actually highlight the message. And as you can see, the chat is actually showing here. I can make it bigger if I wanted to and just make sure I position it the way I want. Okay, I can do this. You can see I can show this message again. I can show this message again. You can see that it's really clean. You don't have to do anything else. It just looks good. And as you can see, it's showing the picture of the person sending the message. You're also sending, showing the name, of course, and it's showing the actual message. So if someone asked a question on the chat you and you want to highlight it, you, you can go ahead and just click to it and just be like okay this is the question and answer the question live and of course this is gonna be super engaging for your audience because your audience will actually feel valued and everybody's gonna be able to see the question whoever asked the question on the chat which is gonna be super super useful to actually boost your engagement and get more views and connect with your community of course which is the goal especially when you go live so as you can see now once you're done usually you can even set up everything back in the chat maybe if you want the message when you highlight it to stay for two seconds as you can see you have also a little menu here where you can actually like pause incoming chat messages if you don't want to if you don't want them to keep coming in you can also send a message from here to the chat you can also start beeping when there is a new message there's so many cool things you can filter out some messages maybe you can tell people to put a cue when they ask a question so you can filter out using that filter so many cool things you can also have this auto okay so when messages come in they're going to show up to keep showing up so especially maybe let's say you know you are about to start your live streaming and people are sending in messages you can actually have it on auto so you don't have to click to each message you want to highlight so as the messages coming in they're going to be showing on screen automatically which is awesome also when you're done uh, talking about something or answering a question they say uh, you click want to show something if you click 
again on that message the message actually is gonna be off screen which is awesome so just click to show it and then click to unshow it if that makes sense so this is how it's done guys but if you have questions let me know down below in the comment section but if you're streaming on youtube or doing both streaming on youtube and facebook you can actually use the same tool to do exactly what we just did However, the method is going to be a little different. So if you stream on YouTube time to time, you want to make sure you check out this video because I'm going to show you step by step how to set up exactly the same tool and be able to do what we just did, but on YouTube. So check out the video, guys, and I'll see you there. Take care.